When the T-spot TB assay is performed on blood stored for more than 8 hours, there may be a change in spot counts and an increase in non-specific background in assay wells. With separation of peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, using FICOL, the majority of the red blood cells and granulocytes are precipitated on the basis of density. When blood samples are stored for more than 8 hours, there may be degranulation of granulocytes. As a result, there is a reduction in density and the lighter granulocytes can contaminate the PBMC layer after density gradient centrifugation. Activated granulocytes can release pre-stored granules, which may cause oxidative stress to lymphocytes in the PBMC layer, which can reduce cell viability and, more specifically, the ability of T-cells to release interferon gamma. The presence of granulocytes can also result in the non-specific background affecting results with stored blood. T-cell extend is an antibody complex which recognises CD66B, a specific cell surface marker of granulocytes. T-cell extend cross-links the granulocytes to red blood cells. This cross-linking increases the density of granulocytes, so they pellet when applied to a density gradient. Use of T-cell extend has been demonstrated to reduce the presence of granulocytes in the PBMC layer, which allows storage times of blood samples for up to 32 hours before performing the T-spot TB assay. 25 microliters of T-cell extend is added per mill of whole blood immediately before commencing the assay. Invert gently 8 to 10 times. Incubate at room temperature for 20 minutes. Then continue to isolate the PBMC fraction using FICOL density gradient centrifugation.